be cool. Look at this. There's no problem here. I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. <laughs> Brilliant. Those mercs wouldn't be able to control the city without Cass. But we can't half ass this. I hope you have a good plan. Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armour. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Wasn't fooled back then, and I'm still not now. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. we found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic.
Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Right, let's say hello. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Paranoid fellow, huh? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Yep, yep. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. I see some windows up there we can use to get in. Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home and resolve to be a better person. Will do. Spread out and look. The man's got a proper setup here. How are we going to bypass it? You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Will do. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed.
What's going on? Breathe, yeah? Relax. One more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, no need to get excited. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Yeah, right. Try more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Just listen, listen. Albion's on its way. So your priority right now is to fucking run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. Wow, thanks, but we know. Why else do you think I'm here? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merck's work. All right, get this straight now. We want your help stopping Cass. He's behind the bombings, and he tried to end us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what- No, no, no! Oh, fuck! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, you think it, you think it. Shit, fine. Move the table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. Get out
returning to HQ, over. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilising or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I got a switch proxy service so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. OK, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Auto drive now enabled. I'm familiar with the tower security. It's tight. Very tight. I'd like to help, fam, but Nigel's just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. first time. What the bloody hell are you going to do about me? Hiya. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? We're not breaking in for fun. That prick, Nigel Cass, has some big unveiling planned. That's got to be shitty news for us and the city. This is why we joined DedSec, innit? Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Hit me up with their info, yeah? I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. I'm not sure how to go about converting an Albion employee. 
They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity's much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking. Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. I can tell you're a fighter. You ready to fight for the people? Fuck me. Dead sec. All right, maybe you could help. Got myself in a bit of trouble. We'll try, and that's more than most. What's going? My friend's got this rare blood disorder. With the NHS in the state it's in, he hasn't been able to get proper treatment in months. A Clan Kelly doctor offered an experimental treatment. A pricey experimental treatment. We didn't have a lot of choices, so I paid. Go on, then. The meds were working. My mate was getting better, but then, well, he got hooked. That's when the doc suddenly decides to rack up the prices. That piece of shit knew what he was doing. That's evil with a stethoscope. Don't worry, we'll get your friend's medicine. Well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. Think you can track him down, Bugs? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you with coordinates now. The Clan Kelly doctor you're looking for is close by. Seems he's got a laptop with him too, presumably with a folder somewhere on it labelled Crimes. Tell me. 
laptop scraped. Get to safety while I analyze the data. I found them at warehouse when experimental drugs are being stored. I'm sure Mary Kelly won't mind if you nick a few. I'm detecting a vehicle nearby with at least two years worth of treatments inside. That's more than enough to wean our contact's friend off the treatment. Yep, yep. There's the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it.
Right, what's next? I found a safe location where our friend can pick it up. Sending you the coordinates now. It's done. The drugs are in a truck in a safe location. We'll have our AI Bagley send you the coordinates. Your friend can safely wean off the treatment now. I owe you guys big time. You could really make a difference, you know. Join DedSec instead of sitting home on your ass. You kidding? Hell yeah. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. <laughs> 